Hey, it's Bruce coming to you once again with WeedersDigest.com, and sometimes I consider myself to be somewhat the roving reporter for lakes, and today I want to show you a little bit about the aftermath of a storm, and we had a storm just uh, yesterday, so I'm shooting this video showing how there's uh, the runoff as the melt happens going through the storm, down the curb, through the storm drain, and then out onto the lake. This is just literally about a block and a half from my house. And so as that goes out there, you can see that's not normal water. That is pollution. And, you know, pollution is a pretty broad term. But we know that in our environment that a lot of salt and a lot of chloride is put onto our roads to, you know, protect people when they're driving. But look at what that does on a lake. Now, you might look at it and say, well, that looks nasty and that would make sense because it's road runoff and, you know, there's going to be oil and, you know, uh, sand and salt and all those type of things that would be mixed in there. But in actuality, let me tell you this, that you've seen, if, if, you know, if you're a Minnesotan or if you're you know, from the, the northern states, you know how much salt gets put on roads. And, and we typically see it, sometimes you see it almost getting poured out. Um, and at, at $70 a ton, from what I'm told, you know, that's cheap. That, that's a good way to ensure safety for the residents of a city. So it, it may, it did make good sense in the past. Now they've become very, very concerned about that because what you're seeing out there on my lake, and this is, you know, again, at our public access just down the, the, the way from me, is that is um, that one teaspoon, this is what I'm told through the Pollution Control Agency, one teaspoon of salt will kill, and I, I mean, I think that's the best way to state it, is will kill five gallons of water. And so that water, because it's the, the water is in, infected with the salt, becomes toxic. It sits on the bottom of the lake, and when it sits on the bottom of the lake, there's no oxygen in it. And so when it mixes up with the water, that one teaspoon of salt kills five gallons of water. That five gallons of water, because it's heavier, lays on the bottom of the lake. When it lays on the bottom of the lake, there's no oxygen. And so this, and there's no organism to break that down. So, you know, what was poured on our roads 10 years ago is still in the bottom of our lakes. It's a tragic situation, but fortunately a lot of cities and a lot of states have d begun dramatically reducing that. And around our lake, they actually do some holding ponds. And you'll see right here, um, there's a holding pond just literally, um, well, you can see that's probably 150, 200 feet from our lake. So there are things being done, and I would encourage you to check out, um, one of my neighbor does a national symposium called the Road Salt Symposium, and she is probably the foremost authority at solving this issue around the country. So, you know, just uh, do a Google search on Fortin Consulting or do a an, um, Road Salt Symposium, and uh, you'll, you'll save your lake, and uh, it'll be a great thing for our environment. Check it out. I'm Bruce with WeedersDigest.com.